Hello, English 9 students. Um, I'm going to walk you through your first writing prompt of the uh, last section here of school for eight weeks. Um, the first thing I want you to notice is that at the beginning of your instructions, we have embedded uh, links to YouTube videos provided by Khan Academy that will be useful for you to review our focus correction areas on this particular assignment, which are, we would like you to focus especially on writing complete sentences, on avoiding fragments and run-ons, especially comma splice run-ons. So if you watch these four videos first, it is more likely going to lead you to be successful and get lots of good points on this assignment. In the second part, it describes how uh, you should choose one of these four topics here. You're not going to write on all four. You're going to choose one and develop it into a fully developed six to eight sentence approximately um, essay, or I shouldn't say essay, just a paragraph. We would like that to be a total of about 150 to 200 words. And I'm going to show you how real quick to figure that out in Google Docs if you're not positive about that. If you go to Tools, there's a thing here called Word Count. And you click on it, it's super easy. However, it's a little bit deceiving sometimes uh, because what it'll show you is the word count for the entire document, not for just your paragraph. And we want to make sure that your paragraph has enough words. Because right now, if you hadn't started the document at all, you'd already be almost at the bottom, uh, your bottom end of the requirements. So what you want to do is when you're done typing in your entire paragraph, let's pretend that's an entire paragraph, you do the same thing. You go to Tools and Word Count. And what it will show you is uh, that's five words of the 133 total. So essentially your paragraph would be five words right then. Um, so when you're done typing the entire paragraph in, then highlight the entire paragraph and check in tools again in word count. And if it says, you know, somewhere between 150 and 200 words at least, uh, then you're in pretty good shape. All right. Now, a real quick note on the four topics. Again, you're only going to choose one. Uh, first one you can have a choice to do is what are you grateful for? I think that's a really great question in the situation we're in right now. Uh, it's real easy to complain. It's real easy to uh, feel miserable. And there's nothing wrong with feeling sad and, and kind of depressed about some of the things that are happening. But I think if you uh, stop and consider it, you will discover that there are things that you should be grateful for. It could be a person in your life. It could be uh, an opportunity. It could be, um, you know, some kind of uh, act of kindness that somebody has, has uh, you know, provided for you. Um, so uh, that's one of your choices. Second choice is what did you once hate but now like? That could be anything. That could be food. Um, I could write a paragraph on broccoli. When I was a kid, I hated broccoli. And now I kind of love it. Uh, I've changed my mind on broccoli and I would go through maybe talk about what I used to hate about so much and now uh, maybe some of the dishes I actually like uh, to to uh, include broccoli in and so on. Um, it does not have to be food. It could be a movie. It could be a song. It could be um, quite frankly a person uh, or someone who's famous or something like that. How do you deal with boredom? Another timely uh, topic, I think, because uh, in lockdown, in uh, uh, stay in place and social distancing and stuff, I think a lot of us are going a little stir crazy, getting a little cabin fever. Um, I do think that you are uh, lucky to be in an age where you have uh, an entire world literally at your fingertips if you have an internet connection. Uh, if this had lockdown had, had taken place when I was your age, um, not nearly as many entertainment um, opportunities or, or choices and selections that you guys have. Uh, so how do you deal with boredom if you want to write about that one? The last one, uh, when have you ever succeeded when you thought you might fail? And again, that could be in anything uh, serious or trivial. It could be, um, you know, uh, 
a humorous story uh, that you you can share with me, or it could be uh, something that uh, means quite a bit, uh, quite a you know uh, a bit to you. It means quite a big deal to you. Um, so uh, what I'd like you to do is obviously you're going to type in your name. Uh, full name, please, and the date and the hour that you are uh, in. Uh, you literally are going to replace these words with your title because you should have a title. And kind of try to come up with something other than, you know, essay prompt one or something lame like that. Be a little creative with it. Then you're going to replace this with your actual paragraph. Start with a good topic sentence. Make a claim. Uh, what I'm most grateful for is or what I used to hate, but I actually really like now, is um, boredom's always been a problem, but I've learned to deal with it by doing this, you know, some kind of topic sentence and make your claim. So that's pretty much it. Um, I really kind of look forward to reading all these. Remember, focus on what we're going to be grading is that you're using complete sentences, capital letters at the beginning, end marks at the end of it, uh, end punctuation, you know, period question mark, exclamation points, uh, no fragments, no run-ons and comma splices. Uh, and then this again would be your, uh, you know, if you, again, to show you that you click that, it will take you to the Khan, Academy, Marian, the Khan Academy videos. All right. So good luck. If you have any questions, email me.